Hello, and welcome back to Factorio. I am Dorthic, and this is the next episode in our Factorio 0.17 and 0.18 tutorial walkthrough Let's Play. In the last episode, we learned about robots. We built roboports, we built the production of both construction and logistic robots, and we've learned a little bit about what is involved when robots do things. We've learned about logistics, request slots, auto trash, Manu manual trash, and all the good things that robots do. In between episodes, I've expanded our RoboPort network so that it covers the entire core of our base. I also went ahead and checked our defenses, and one of the things we've noticed is that we're starting to get more and more damage. I fixed them a few times between episodes, but the biters are definitely attacking. What's more, if you recall from way early on, when we built this wall up here, we put a box of ammo because we didn't want to run a belt all the way up here, and this said that we'll deal with it sometime. Well, sometime was just now. Uh, when I was checking on defenses, I realized that that box was empty and some of these guns were running dry. Fortunately, I caught it before uh, the biters could breach the defenses completely. So what I did was I built a small train station here to drop off ammunition and which takes this scenic path along the belt out and then I built a small loading station over here to bring that out, ammunition out and with just a single 1-1 one -one train we don't need much we're also not producing much as you may recall uh, we make very little ammo in fact I doubled our ammo production here which made it from very little to twice as much of very little I don't think we need to expand it more, but perhaps at some point. However, the real problem is that as we've been expanding and doing more, our pollution has been spreading and spreading and spreading. And you can see that it's clearly hitting this nest here, these nests here, this nest, we're getting constant attacks over here, these nests over here, we can in fact see them getting ready to do something here. Over here we're getting, affecting this nest, this nest, and up here, because the pollution spreads quickly over water, uh, we're going to be hitting a lot of these that are going to start attacking this north wall. That one already is. So it's time to work on defenses some more. This is going to be another military technology episode. Now we have a couple of options. We can strengthen our wall, and I've done that in places. If you look at the places that have been getting most attacked back here, I've increased the density of the turrets, and I've doubled up the thickness of the wall. And of course, we've researched some improvements to our uh, physical projectile damage and shooting speeds, which help. But the biters are getting stronger too. If we hit tilde to bring up the console and do slash evolution, we can see that they're now at 72%. They're 72% toward from zero to the most powerful biters we can have. That's not huge, but it's a lot. So we need to upgrade our defenses, as we said, but we also need to go and start clearing some of these biters. Now, before we used turret creep and we used our car and guns, it's time to get more serious about it. If we look at our tab here, we now have a tank. So let's go build a tank. We need steel, gear wheels, circuits, and engine wheels. So, we have steel right here. And we don't need the copper. We have gear wheels right here. Red circuits are... Red circuits are right here. And engine units are actually going to be the hardest to get, but we should have some over here. 11. Not going to do it, but something. Uh, we can probably steal some from the flying robot frame array. Let's see if we can do that.
that enough? No, we need one more. Come on. Why don't you guys make a... Aha. And take it from there. Alright. We're gonna handcraft a tank. Fantastic. Tanks are cool. We can put the tank right here. And there it is in all its beauty. We gotta fuel it. And the tank is loud. It makes a clangy noise. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bump into things. And it wrecks things. You can see it does much more damage than a car, but it can also survive more. It can also turn in place, unlike the... Um, yes, thank you, bots, because I just dumped all the in the tank. Now, the tank actually has three weapon slots. It can take regular ammunition and shoot just like the car. If I activate that gun. Now, it can't do all at once. You have to hit tab to switch. It has a flamethrower, which takes flamethrower ammo, which we're not producing, and flamethrower ammo is kind of annoying to produce. But the best part of it is it has cannon. And I really like the tank cannon. So let's pick the tank up. And let's look at making cannon ammo. Yes, thank you. Now you're going to take the solid fuel away. Good bot. So, if we look at tank ammo, there's regular cannon shells. And there is explosive cannon shells. That's the ones I want to make. Uh, they don't pierce things as well but they have an area of effect that blows things up, and I think they're more effective. So the ingredients are steel, plastic, and explosives. And, well, we're producing a lot. We have a lot of that right here. So we're going to piggyback on the back of our cliff explosives build to produce some... To produce some more. First of all, we need this here. think that will grab that. We don't need this. We don't need these. And I don't have any chemical plants for on me, but fortunately for us, there's some being made in the mall. Alright, and we're gonna do that again. Because the truth is, we're gonna want quite a few... We're going to want quite a few. We want to be able to produce quite a bit of uh, cannon ammo because not because it's going to, we're going to have a use for it later on down the road. So there's explosives. We already have steel. We just need to bring in plastic. So we can... Place that there, and you'll be making explosive cannon shells. So you can get that from there. Mm, let's see. Steel we have here. And we can bring it out like this. What's the quantities? We need two of each every eight seconds. Not a whole lot. So we can definitely do this with a split belt. And we need plastic, so we can bring plastic in right here. Well, we have to sidestep this steel, so let's go to here. Do I have my helper stick? Yes, I do. It's way too long, but that's okay. We don't need that one, we don't need that one, but here's plastic.
And we can output onto here. Which can then be placed into a provider box. And that way we can scale this up if we so choose. Plastic is coming in. Now let's um, let's double that. Can we fit it? And now we're getting cannon shells. So let's let this run for a bit. You can see they're not exactly being produced quickly. But we can use a blue. And I'm going to let this run for a bit and just get, um, I don't know, a little bit. And then we will go hunt for some biters. Okay, we got a hundred shells. That's enough for us to get going. I think we're going to restrict this actually down further because it's... How many... Is it a hundred in a stack? It's probably two hundred in a stack. Yeah, it's two hundred in a stack. Uh, I think two stacks. Yeah, let's do two stacks. All right, I would also like to grab some regular ammo. And for that matter, we should make sure it's available in a provider chest for us. Now let's see. Ammo is coming out here. We should definitely have it in a provider chest. So we can do that right here. So, and we'll limit it, let's say, three stacks. Now, for right now, we'll just grab it from this belt feeding military science, because science is off anyway, so no reason not to snag it. More grenades while we're at it. Can't go wrong with grenades. Plenty of ammo. We don't need that stuff. We have turrets. Walls. We should grab walls. Let's see, walls are being made over here. And we should they should also be in the provider, except I think we have the mini provider already on the mall. Yes we do. So let's request some walls. Let's say two hundred. And they're on their way. We can run towards it to help the bots out. There they come. Okay. So, uh, you know what? Let's get some gates to uh, say 50 minutes. Which is all we have in storage, and that's fine. That's what storage is for. Excellent. Now I'm going to cancel these logistic requests because I don't want them constantly being there. I just want them right now. So, where do we want to start? I think we're going to start with this one here because it's the one that's being the most problematic. So let's drive over there and go hunting. We're going to take the car because it's a lot faster than that. Also a lot quieter. Okay, here we are at our wall. And the first thing we're going to do is make us ourselves a gate. This will open when we approach, or including it with a car, but it will not open for biters. And that makes it so we don't have to pull the wall down and up every time. Let's um, 
do a quick reconnaissance because we don't want to get into the fight before we know where there's a lot of trees and whatnot. And I think it's pretty good. So as always, before biter, biter hunting, we're going to save. And we're going to pick up the car. We're going to turn off our robots. That's very important because as our tank gets damaged, the robots are going to jump out and try to fix it. And robots are a top priority for biters. The biters will eat all of our robots. So I'm going to make sure my weapon selection here is on cannon shells. And what will happen is it will shoot to where my mouse is. And it's got a pretty decent range. So we're going to go and try to blow up the biters. But as with the car, we've got to keep moving. And you can see it's getting giving us a targeting shell. Trees are not a big deal because we can run right through them, but rocks will kill us. Oh. I'm switching to guns to just shoot up the biters because I don't want to waste the cannon ammo. Although, as you can see, these blue biters especially, those are large biters, they're pretty tough. Back to cannon shells, and let's do another pass. A good range on the gun, so that's pretty nice. And while they're following us, the important thing is to take out those spawners. And that biter is attacking a rock. Go, oh, biter! You you do that. All right, and we're getting chewed up, so we're gonna back off. We can come over here and let our turrets cover us some. No more chasing? Alright, I'm gonna turn the robots on. Let them uh, fix us. Robots off. Let's go back at it. As you can see, the tank does make it easier, but it's not uh, trivial. We still have to work to kill them. And if we let them bug us down, they will tear apart even the tank, especially these. And if we let them get slime the heck out of us. then that could cause us a real problem. I don't want to waste cannon shells on just one or two biters. Let's take another pass. Those blue biters are tough, and they will get tougher. We'll eventually have the colossal biters, which are much tougher. And still have plenty of ammo, but we're running low on tank ammo. Now let's turn bots on to fix ourselves again. Bots off. Mm, 
Nothing okay. That's the end of that. That's the end of that. Let's uh, pull up here where we have friends. And let our... Now we can turn robots on. They will fix this up. And that's the tail of that uh, particular biter nest. While we're over here, we can uh, fix up some of our birds that got damaged. Come on, little guy. There you go. All right, and there's our gate. Okay, so that is how we use a tank to clear a biter nest. We have a lot more we need to clear. I don't think I want to do that on camera because, frankly, it just takes forever. So I will... Um, and it's somewhat repetitive. We need to clear this one. This is a big one. That's going to be tough. We are going to need to clear this one for sure. These three for sure. That's the... Mo and um, these couple for sure. That's going to take a while. But... Once we've done that, we can also capture some resources. There's a iron ore patch there, another one there that wouldn't be bad. Lots of uranium, although we still have plenty of uranium. Copper. We could definitely use more copper. We have this big patch, but there's another nice one there. And uh, so that's a good thing to do. The other thing we can do is work on improving our defenses. And that means laser turrets. Uh, why don't you come pick me up here, Mr. Train? So, we should look at making laser turrets. This is the recipe. We need electronic circuits, batteries, steel plates. Not a big deal. But before we could really get, make full use of them, we need one other thing. We need accumulators. Accumulators store electrical energy, and they are important for solar power, and they're also important for... Back to the mall, and we can kill that one. And they're also really good when we have lasers for absorbing the surges that um, get created when lasers fire. The problem with lasers is that they take up a little bit of energy while they are idle, and they take up a huge amount of energy when they fire. So, we're going to want to create some accumulators. And accumulators are used together with batteries, and uh, very frequently we build these two arrays together, but we don't have to. It's, a, it's an option. So let's just... Um, much like we did with battery production itself, we can start an array, but we don't need to max it out. So if this is producing accumulators, we need to feed it iron and battery. And it's five batteries for te in 10 seconds and two iron plates in 10 seconds. So we can easily use a split belt. And we can put it onto a split belt. So this is our usual, very typical kind of setup. Two bots. Alright, so we need batteries, which are down here somewhere. Yep, right there. And we need iron plates. So, iron plates are right here. Right your cheese. So, 
robots can build the rest. So this does not need to happen. So that's uh, iron plates, and then batteries are over here. There's batteries. So that's our accumulator array. And while we're at it, we might as well look at what's involved in solar panels. So we'll pay 10 second crafting time. We need electronic circuits, a lot of them, and copper and steel plates, not as many. So we're going to want to use. belts for this and the inside one is going to be green circuits and the outside one is going to be copper and steel again we don't really need this right now but uh, we might as well this is green circuits which are down here and steel. Oh, let me grab these robots. So here is steel. Copper is going to be right here. Oops, that's the wrong one. You need to jump over. You need to go here. Mm, I think we will feed steel onto the other side. Okay, now all we're going to do with these is put them into some boxes. And we want separate boxes because they're separate things. Mm, let's cap them at, say, three stacks each. 
And we are going to need filter inserters for this. So the U will grab only accumulators. And you will grab only... So, we've got some accumulators coming in. Now you'll notice this is a crafting time of 10, and this is a crafting time of 10. So they're produced at about the same rate, and that's very nice. And we're going to let it build out. Actually, let's uh, do it maybe 5 boxes. We're going to let this build out before we start on lasers, but we're going to grab... A couple. Really, we just need like one, two, maybe. And we're going to use it for other purposes next time. Because uh, we really don't need to do anything with it at the moment. And with that, you now know what you need uh, in order to build a tank, equip it with ammunition. So, with that, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps with visibility. And if you're enjoying uh, the series, uh, please consider subscribing. You'll get notifications of when new episodes come out. And there will be more Factoria goodness in addition to this tutorial series, because I've been... Uh, I did a live stream of playing a heavily modded game using the Industrial Revolution Total Replacement mod. And the recording of that stream is going to get uh, broken up into half hour episodes and posted to the YouTube stream. So subscribe if you want to know when. So with that, why don't you go ahead and try one of these guys yourself? And as always, don't forget to save.